Hey guys, today we're going to be drawing with different Expo markers on just a glass surface, glass bowl thing, and we're gonna put water on it, and hopefully it's go the Expo marker is gonna come off. What are you gonna draw? I think I'm gonna draw, try to draw a fish. Okay, I fell. <laughs> Sorry, right. eight. the number eight's good. A square. Okay, let's square. see what happens. Pour a little water on. And the water is a little warm, mostly room temperature, but maybe slightly warm, right? Yeah. I don't know if you can do it. What happens? Put your finger in it. Go to the square. Square. Put your finger on it and see what happens when you try and pull it out. Uh, <laughs> Just turns back into ink, right? I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but look at the star. I'm gonna try a few different markers. We were just using this one. And now we're gonna use this one and we're gonna see which ones work best. One of the keys is to let it dry. Oh, it's not off yet. Wait, is there a red time? The red's coming. Yeah, that's cool. The green really didn't work for the blue, right? What's funny is the little black one that we had one yeah. last time, it didn't work. The big black one. Yeah, that's cool. What? What? <laughs> so we tried this multiple ways. We tried it on tin foil, a ceramic plate, and now we just did it on glass. Glass works best. What we used for this experiment are expo markers. They are dry erase markers. So these markers, dry erase markers, are meant to erase off shiny things and versus regular markers, which are meant to erase. They are meant to just stay. Since these markers have to erase, they put a extra polymer in it because of the polymer, it is meant to erase. So it, instead of just sticking to glass, when you put water on it, it floats up to the top of the water. I thought it was cool to see it flow. Thanks everyone to, for watching. Subscribe to see our latest uploads.